Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Farjana. Welcome to my another quick tutorial. In today's video, I will show you how you can create this kind of 3D flip effect using Elementor. In this tutorial, I will show you how you can create this kind of effect for a restaurant menu. We can use this same effect for any other area like we can create this kind of effect for our project details or personal details or any others information or flip box and for this tutorial i'm going to use elementor pro version so if you still did not get elementor pro i will leave the elementor pro download link in my description so you can check it from there all right now if you like to see this kind of valuable tutorial let me know in the comment section so i will make more tutorial like this now let's go ahead and without any further ado let's get started for this design, I'm not going to start from scratch. Rather than I'm taking a pre-made layout and then I will apply my effect. So for that, I'm going to templates and here I'm searching a layout. For example, I'm searching for restaurant. Okay, so I'm going to insert this one. And now for this column, if I click here, I'm taking a inner section. I'm going here and taking this inner section and removing the first column and also taking another one or I'm duplicating this one. Okay, so this is my basic structure. So we need a column, then we need a inner section and then a second inner section. And now for the first one, it will work as our cover and then the second section will work for the details page now for the first one i'm going to edit section and for now i'm just adding a minimum height for some time and here i'm adding a background image and some text so going to style tab and background type i'm going to upload the image for background for example, I'm taking this one and image position, center, center and the size making it to cover. Alright, and here I'm going to add some overlay. So going to background overlay and we can go to the gradient. For the first color, I'm making it to transparent or for the first one, we can take the dark color and for the second color I'm taking it to transparent and also here I'm adding a title text so again going here and taking this title changing the alignment to center and also from the style tab I'm changing the color to white and I'm changing this text to our menu so this will work like a menu book and also we can add some padding in top so going to advance so for padding first making it to unlink and top we can select the percent and in top i'm adding 10 or 5 yeah looks good and now for the second inner section you can add your own content for now to make it quicker i'm just taking some ready content from here taking this title then this line and then this menu details need to move it to the top all right and now for this second section going to style tab and i'm changing the background color sorry not here going to edit inner section for the second one and from style tab i'm changing the color if i check the others color yeah it's working so this time i'm selecting the white color only and also I'm adding some padding so for that from advanced padding I'm adding 30 pixel for all around yeah looks good so our structure is ready and now we can add some empty column in the left side and right side just to make some spacing so for that we can add some margins in left and right or this time I'm going to add some new column going to add new column and also one more all right and now I'm moving it to the left 
and now for the first column I am taking the width to 15 and also for the last one 15 and now for the middle one I am making it to 70 alright so our structure is done and also we can remove the default mean height for this first section going to layout and mean height I am just removing it we can make it to default for now and now I need to add some class name and CSS for that I am going to my website and here I have listed all basic steps to create our effect here I have listed all details you can follow these steps from here and also I will leave this page link in my description so you can check it from there so for the first step we need to add this class name with our column so I'm going to copy this class name and for this column select the outer column and from the add fonts I'm adding the column name and then we need to add this class name for first inner section the cover and going to the first inner section from advance and CSS class I'm adding this class name and then we need to add this class name for second inner section going to the second inner section and advance and adding the CSS class all right and here is another class name so if we want to hide the title for example from the cover when we flip it then we can hide the title we can do it later for now I'm just going to add all the CSS so simply copy all the CSS code and now from the dashboard if I go to the Elementor and here is Elementor custom code and then I'm going to add new and here we can add any title like 3d flip card and now here I'm going to add our style tag and then we have to close it and inside this I'm going to paste all the CSS and then publish from here we can select it for a specific page or by default it will work for entire website I'm keeping it for entire website and save and close and now from here if I save our page and now if we refresh and now we can see it's showing like this and when you hover over this it's looking like this but here it's not showing the real view so for that if I go to the view page and now if I hover it we can see it's looking like this and here on the hover state if we want to hide this text so for that we need to add an extra class I'm going here and here is the class to hide I'm again going to my structure and now if I select this text and from advance if I add this class name and now on hover state this text is hiding now I'm saving this page and now if I refresh our page so now you can see it's gone and now if I check my CSS code here we can see here is CSS for all columns so here we need not to worry about all this code from here we can change the height for this whole column by default here I have added 600 pixel so if we want to change the height of this column you can do it from here and also we can keep all others as it is and here if we want to change the animation by default this is one second so here I have added a animation one second so we can change the animation time from here and also the transition for column here is the one second so we can also change this transition time for this column and also if I check the design so on the right side our content is too long so to make it more nice I have added a custom scroll bar on the right side so to add this custom scroll bar I have also installed a another plugin so if I go to the plugin plugins and add new and here if I search for custom scroll bar 
and here I have installed this plugin and activated so after activating this plugin we will find a new tab like scroll bar here and here we will see different theme and we need to go to here add selector and by default if we see this is the default scroll bar style and now to activate this nice scroll we need to add a class name so for details area if I go to the inner section and from advanced here is the class name details and now here add selector I need to add the whole selector name so this will be dot and the class name details and now click on this add and from here by default it's showing the black design for a scroll bar and now if I refresh so we can see the scroll bar is changed and also here is some other design for example if I select the light sky blue and now if I refresh so we can see this design and color is changed and also we can add our own color so for that we need to create our custom theme using our color and then from selector we can select that specific theme for now I'm going with the black and refresh so that's all for now and finally if I check the responsive view for example from here if I just resize my screen for phone and now we can see this is also responsive and finally if you want to make more customization with this flip effect and with these boxes if you know the basic css you can do it by customizing all this code all right that's all for today if you like this video give this video a big thumbs up otherwise you may not find this kind of valuable tutorial next time and if you are new here like to see my more upcoming videos don't forget to subscribe my channel and finally, if you like to work with me for any WordPress project, you can contact me through my website. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.